All right, we're going to assemble our inner cover here. And the important thing with this is that your groove that accepts the inner cover all needs to be in the same orientation. So you slide these together, and then if you see, I just did it wrong. See how the groove doesn't connect there? So I need to flip that one around. And now the groove is correct. This groove is really tight, I just found out. So what you want to do is center this piece of masonite in your groove here so that it's sticking out about equal distance on each side of your frame. And so sort of get it started. So like I said, it's a real tight fit on this one. And you know, if you live in a humid climate, that can affect how tight these wooden wear pieces are. All right, so I get that started and then I'm gonna double check Looks like it needs to come down a little bit. So, about there. And now, if you look, I've got about equal distance there with there. And again, you don't have to be, if you want to measure it all, have at it. But, this stuff was all milled probably on a CNC machine, so most likely it's going to go together. So now I take my short piece, get the groove with the skinny side up, fat side down, and that should go right on here with a little bit of elbow grease. Putting this bottom one on here because I'm going to hit it with a hammer and I want to make sure that I don't damage the edge of the masonite as I did right here. See how that's all bunched out? I'm going to just sort of squeeze it back together so it fits in the groove. So I got this lined up with my groove. I'm going to give it a tap. This bottom one is kind of almost on as well. And now I've got a little bit of display you know, gap right here, so I'll level it out like this. Get the top one. Seems a little bit too long. All right, so for this last piece, you need to kind of flare them out a little bit, I guess, to get it to sit properly. Ta-da! I'm a genius. All right, so inner cover 
we'll drive some of those small nails in each corner. Do not paint this. Uh, this comes in contact with the bees, so we'll just leave this one unpainted.